हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई एम सच्चेवाणी थैंक यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड वाचिंग माय वीडियोस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स मेड इजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दैट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू फाइंड द रूट्स ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय यूजिंग फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड एंड बाय यूजिंग क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला नाउ इन दिस another one third method is we are going to find the roots of the quadratic equation by complete square method in this method x square plus 7x plus 12 equal to 0 how to solve this x square plus 7x plus 12 equal to 0 by complete square method whenever we are applying this rule first we should uh, change constant term from LHS to RHS set the constant from LHS to RHS x square plus 7x is equal to minus 12 whenever we send plus 12 from LHS to RHS it becomes uh, minus 12 actually it is 0 minus 12 which is nothing but minus 12 once observe this LHS x square plus 7x and RHS is equal to minus 12 write this x square as x whole square plus 7x can be written as 2 into x into 7 by 2 on the other side it is minus 12 if we observe LHS it is in the form of a square plus 2ab for finding the roots of the given quadratic equation by using complete square method we should write LHS either in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square r a square minus 2 a b plus b square now if we observe this x square plus 2 into x into 7 by 2 it is in the form of a square plus 2 a b if we add b square to this a square plus 2 a b it becomes a plus b whole square so add b square to both lhs and rhs in this lhs x whole square is a square plus 2 into x into 7 by 2 it is a 2 a b b equal to 7 by 2 so add 7 by 2 whole square to both LHS and RHS now add 7 by 2 whole square to both LHS and RHS it becomes x whole square plus 2 into x into 7 by 2 plus 7 by 2 whole square is added RHS becomes minus 12 plus 7 by 2 whole square then LHS is a square plus 2AB plus B square a square plus 2AB plus B square which is equal to A plus B whole square now A square plus 2AB plus B square is a expansion of A plus B whole square A is a X plus B is a 7 by 2 whole square on the other side it is a minus 12 plus 7 by 2 whole square is 49 by 4 then x plus 7 by 2 whole square is equal to minus 12 plus 49 by 4 let us take LCM here 4 is LCM then uh, this denominator 1 cancel in 4 4 times 4 into 12 is 48 plus 4 table cancel in 4 1 time 1 into 49 is 49 then this becomes x plus 7 by 2 whole square x plus 7 by 2 whole square equal to 49 minus 48 is 1 by 4 then x plus 7 by 2 whole square is equal to 1 by 4 if we send square to RHS it becomes x plus 7 by 2 equal to plus r minus root of 1 by 4. Then x plus 7 by 2 equal to plus r minus 1 by 2. Then we should take x plus 7 by 2 equal to 1 by 2, comma x plus 7 by 2 equal to minus 1 by 2. Then x is equal to 1 by 2, send plus 7 by 2 to the other side, it becomes minus 7 by 2 x is equal to minus 1 by 2 send plus 7 by 2 there it becomes minus 7 by 2 x equal to denominators are same 
then directly we can simplify in numerators it becomes 1 minus 7 x equal to here denominators again same directly we can simplify in numerators minus 1 minus 7 x equal to 1 minus 7 by 2 is minus 6 by 2 minus 1 minus 7 is minus 8 by 2 so that x is equal to minus 3 comma minus 4 these are the roots of the given quadratic equation x square plus 7x plus 12 equal to 0 so this is called as finding the root of the roots of the given quadratic equation by using complete square method this is the procedure for finding roots of the quadratic equation when x square coefficient equal to 1 if we take x square coefficient is not equal to 1 then how to find the roots of the quadratic equation let us see in this example 5x square minus 7x minus 6 equal to 0 now the question is 5x square minus 7x minus 6 equal to 0 again for finding the roots of this quadratic equation first step is we should send constant from LHS to RHS so that 5x square minus 7x equal to minus 6 we are sending from LHS to RHS it becomes a plus 6 0 plus 6 nothing but 6 next step is we should make x square coefficient 1 so for that take out x common for x 5 is a common from this 5x square minus 7x it becomes x square minus 7 by 5 x is equal to 6 send the constant 5 from LHS to RHS whenever we are sending into 5 from here to there it becomes a 6 by 5 5 goes to the denominator of the RHS x square minus 7 by 5 x is equal to 6 by 5 now let us write it as x whole square minus 2 into x into 7 by 10 whenever we are writing 7 by 5 x as 2 into x into 7 by 10 if we cancel 2 in this 10 5 times x into 7 by 5 which is equal to minus 7 by 5 x is equal to 6 by 5 then once observe this LHS it is in the form of a square minus 2ab a square minus 2ab to make it as a perfect square b square term should be added to both LHS and RHS if I observe this a square minus 2ab b equal to 7 by 10 so b square should be added to both LHS and RHS nothing but 7 by 10 whole square should be added to both LHS and RHS then x whole square minus 2 into x into 7 by 10 plus b square b square is 7 by 10 whole square is equal to 6 by 5 plus 7 by 10 whole square then this becomes a square minus 2ab plus b square a square minus 2ab plus b square this is expansion of a minus b whole square a minus b, a is x minus b is a 7 by 10 whole square is equal to 6 by 5 plus 7 by 10 whole square is 49 by 100 because it is in the form of a by b whole square a by b whole square is a square by b square nothing but 7 square by 10 square 7 square is a 49 by 10 square is a 100 now simplify this expression then we get x minus 7 by 10 whole square x minus 7 by 10 whole square equal to take LCM in RHS 100 is LCM 5 table in 100 20 times 20 into 6 is 120 plus 100 cancel in 100 one time 1 into 49 is a 49 then x minus 7 by 10 whole square is equal to 100 and this is 120 plus 49 is 169 x minus 7 by 10 equal to plus r minus root of 169 by 100 then x minus 7 by 10 x minus 7 by 10 is plus r minus root of 169 is 13 by root 100 is 10 it becomes x minus 7 by 10 equal to 13 by 10 comma x minus 7 by 10 equal to minus 13 by 10 then x is equal to 13 by 10 send minus 7 by 10 to RHS it becomes a plus 7 by 10 x equal to minus 13 by 10 send minus 7 by 10 to RHS it becomes a plus 7 by 10 now if we simplify 
these two roots of the quadratic equation x equal to x equal to uh, denominators the same directly we can simplify numerators 13 plus 7 by 10 x equal to uh, 10 is the uh, denominators here both the denominators are same then uh, directly we can simplify numerators minus 13 plus 7 x equal to 13 plus 7 which is a 20 20 by 10 comma minus 13 plus 7 it becomes minus 6 by 10 x equal to 20 by 10 is equal to minus 6 by 10 is minus 3 by 5 so the values of x are 2 comma minus 3 by 5 by using this uh, complete square method we can find the roots of the quadratic equation when coefficient of x square is 1 and uh, in the same way we can find the roots of the quadratic equation uh, when x square coefficient is not equal to 1 also thank you very much